What's up Smart Homers? My name is Aaron. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Octoprint into Home Assistant using MQTT. Press start. Octoprint is an awesome way to control your 3D printer. It allows you to remotely monitor and control it in a ton of different ways. You can upload files to your printer's SD card without any SD card swapping and then remotely print them. You can also pause and cancel print jobs. You can look at timer mating and the status of a print. You can monitor and control hot end and bed temperatures. You can even view the feed for your Raspberry Pi camera if you have one attached. There's so much you can do with this. So I wanna show you how to integrate that with Home Assistant. And when you integrate it with Home Assistant, it exposes a bunch of different sensors and controls, which can be super useful for automation and dashboard control. The method we're gonna be using to integrate this into Home Assistant uses MQTT. There is a native integration for Octoprint and Home Assistant, but as of the 2020.11.0 release of Home Assistant, the MQTT method has far more sensors and controls than the native integration does. Installing Octoprint is super easy. To do this, we're gonna use the Raspberry Pi imager to install OctoPi onto a Raspberry Pi's SD card using a PC. Download the imager onto your PC and then insert the SD card into the PC and then open the imager. Click choose OS, select other dedicated OS, and then choose OctoPi. Choose the stable version of OctoPi. For the storage option, select your SD card as the installation drive. But before clicking right, press Control Shift X. This will bring up the advanced options menu. In this menu, enable SSH if it isn't and set a password for authentication. This can be used later to access your OctoPi instance and make changes on the Raspberry Pi. Next, configure your Wi-Fi by entering the Wi-Fi's SSID and password and set your Wi-Fi country as well. And then click Save. Back on the main imager window, click Write. Once this is installed, put your SD card into the Raspberry Pi and start it up. It will take some time to start up, so while you're waiting, go ahead and connect your Raspberry Pi to your printer using a USB cable. Once it's finished, you should be able to access Octoprint using the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. If you have a screen that's attached to your Pi, the readout will actually show you the IP address of your Pi, which you can then enter into a browser to go to Octoprint. If you don't have a screen, you have to log into your router and find the Raspberry Pi on your network. Once you've found the IP address, I also recommend that you set it as a static IP address so it doesn't change on you because we will be using this IP address for a portion of the home system setup. You can also access Octoprint by typing in octopi.local into a browser. Navigate to Octoprint in a browser using the IP address or octopi.local and then you're gonna run through the basic setup. During this process, you're gonna to need to input specific information about your printer. Just to know, for my Ender 3 V2 printer, there were some plugins that I needed to install in order to fix some temperature reporting issues specific to the firmware of my device model. After this, you're gonna to wanna to install the MQTT plugin by clicking the wrench, which is the settings icon at the top right corner, and then clicking Plugin Manager on the left sidebar. Then click the Get More button. Search for MQTT and install that plugin. You'll also want the Home Assistant Discovery plugin, so search for that one as well and install it. Restart Octoprint when prompted. Next, head back to the Settings menu and then click MQTT on the left side of the window. Here, you'll put in the information for your MQTT broker. If you don't have a broker set up yet, I'll leave a link to a couple good videos that I recommend on how to set one up. Pause this video, go watch them, and then come on back. For host, put in your MQTT host IP address. This is likely the IP address of your Home Assistant machine. Next, check the broker requires username and password box and put in the credentials you set up in Home Assistant. Click save, and then on the left-hand side of the settings window, click Home Assistant Discovery. Here you can change the name of your device as it will appear in Home Assistant if you would like. I left mine as is. Once it's all set up, go back to the main screen and click connect on the left sidebar to connect your printer to Octoprint. Once connected, your hot end and bed temperatures will be displayed in the trending chart on the main page. As you can see here, you're able to control the temperatures from Octoprint and you can also upload files to print, 
well as start and stop prints remotely. Also, if you click the control tab at the top, you can view the camera feed from your Raspberry Pi camera if you have one attached. I'm not gonna go over every aspect of Octoprint because there's just so much to it. Okay, now let's integrate it in Home Assistant. The Home Assistant setup is pretty easy. Since you've already got your MQTT broker set up and you've pointed to its IP address in Octoprint, it's automatically gonna recognize Octoprint as a device. Go to configuration, integrations, and click devices under MQTT. Here you should see Octoprint or whatever you named it as a device. If you click the device, you're gonna see all the different entities and controls that are exposed to Home Assistant. Trust me, this is a lot more than the native integration. If the entities are showing up as unavailable, just restart Octoprint and they should begin to show up. As you can see here, there's a lot you can do with this integration. You don't have full control of the printer like you do with the Octoprint web UI, but you still have the ability to cancel or pause prints, emergency stop, shut down the system, and turn on or off the connection to the printer. You can also take a camera snapshot, which saves a still image of what the Raspberry Pi camera is seeing. If you wanna add the Raspberry Pi camera directly into Home Assistant as a camera entity, just head to your cameras.yaml or configuration.yaml if you haven't split the cameras out and add the camera as an entity like I've done here. The IP address you're gonna use is the address of your Raspberry Pi that's running Octoprint. Overall, this method of integration gives a lot more sensors and controls than the native integration. Until the native integration is further developed, which I'm sure it will be, this seems like the better method. Being able to stop prints from Home Assistant as well as monitor all those sensors is super cool and useful, especially if you know, you're at work during the day and you wanna check in on your print. I'm sure there are plenty of cool automations that you could do using these sensors. So if you guys have any, I would love to hear those down in the comments. Anyway, that's all I have for you in this video. I'm actually about to release another video that shows how I set up a touchscreen control interface for my 3D printer using Octoprint. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing and check that video out. Thanks for watching. See ya.